All right, President Ruto there speaking in Nyeri. We'll have more on what he said in our subsequent bulletins at 7 and 9 p.m. But uh, let's move to Kenyatta University, where the community is gathering for a solemn ceremony to honor the memories of the 11 students who tragically perished in the Maungu Road accident last month. Now, the service is attended by the second lady and spouse to the deputy president, Dr. Dokas Rigadi, and the education cabinet secretary, Ezekiel Machogo. While such services are held at the end of every academic year, this particular one is special as it is used to remember the lives lost and stand with survivors of last month's Voy accident. Let's now listen in to Dr. Dorcas Rigadi. A human being like the girl child. And now mitigate their case. Let me tell you, I'll advocate for their case until everyone in this country <laughs> understands, knows that they deserve equal chances. When I went to the maternity, I gave birth with the same pain for the girl and for the boy. And when I mitigate for this boy child of mine, whom everyone, when it is teenage pregnancy, they look at this boy child of mine. And they take him for defilement. Like in the Bible, the, the woman was brought without a man. But today is a man who is being brought without the woman. Young women, I pray that you become my son's keeper. Please don't tempt them and get them to jail for many years. The law sometimes is very lenient with us, as it was lenient with men sometimes. But I know in this university, we have men and women of integrity. And I want you to join me as a bus and us who go out there to champion for the boy child and the girl child as well. And to make sure we are making this world a better place to stay. I want to conclude by saying that you are the chosen generation. First Peter 2 verse 9 says, but you are chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special position, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness and into the wonderful light.